Garcia was a massacre carried out by the Israelis. Ariel Shannon was the, um, one of the main attackers for the Israelis. I think he could have been behind 9-11, one of the um, main 9-11 planners. Um, so they carried out this attack on a, um, a Palestinian village. They killed more than 69 Palestinian civilians, two-thirds of whom were women and children. And what they've done is they've attacked the village overnight, burst in, machine guns all the houses up, grenaded them, killed everyone that was in the village, and then they've took over the village, haven't they? And that's what they've been doing for the years. They've been massacring them and chipping away at the land until they've backed them into two little spots, built the walls around them, and then chipping away at them them wall bits each each year, committing them attacks. So what it says is 45 houses, a school and a mosque was destroyed. So the, what it says there is maximum killing and damage to property. So that's what they do. They don't go in there to kill Hamas, or they, they go in there to kill as many Palestinians as they can, so they can chip away and take their land. What what happened with this was there was a bit of um, international backlash. You Not know, like all people speaking up because of the massacre. They went in and just grenaded and shot a load of innocent people in their houses and then stole the village. So there's a bit of a backlash. So they've set up a company called. American Israeli Public Committee, APAC, and what they do is they lobby for the senators and the, the politicians. So they've got the politicians in their back pockets of America and they'll do it in Britain as well. So they'll be funding all of the politicians to so they can back them with whatever they do so they can go out and continue to chip away at their land and, and commit these massacres. And they just keep killing these people. And then if, if they fight back, if they do anything back, it's always they committing the terrorist attack. And that's how it's brain, brainwashed around to our publics for years and years. They're committing terrorist attacks. They're committing the terrorist attacks. Like, I mean, these terrorist frigging groups like Islamic States and Al-Qaeda, but they're nothing to do with the Palestinians. They're not committing the terrorist attacks. They're fighting to be free from the open-air prison, what they're in. They're being blocked behind this wall, squashed behind it. And that's what, what it says in that thing. Maximum damage of property and people. They don't care who they kill, man, woman, child. They kill any of them. Because it's all about stealing their land. They want 100% of that land. And they use them, Britain and America, to just chip away at it. And we, we fund them as well. We send them friggin' wet arms. We send them arms from... Cyprus, we send all Israelis arms from Cyprus to commit these massacres. Anyway, peace out the people. Well, this is that um, APAX, the American Israeli Public Affairs Committee, pro-Israeli lobbying organisations. And this is the company that's funding the politicians so the Israelis can go out and commit their um, massacres. And look, as it says there, it was founded in 1954 for the Israeli government, partly to counter negative international reactions to that massacre that we've just been talking about. So they could continue to massacre anyone they wanted in Palestine and take as much land as they wanted because they was now backed by America and Britain, so they could go out and do it. What they do is they get they they, they, they make sure Hamas commit these attacks, so they because the punishment never fits the crime. Like in that massacre, um, they say it was a response for a woman and two children getting killed. So if that was the case, he should have been arrested. But instead, they massacred the whole village, grenaded up the things, and took over it. And that's what they've been doing with the land all the way, taking over the land. From start to finish, and they're just trying to 100% completely wipe them off the map. Anyway, peace out again, the people.